Exclusive, to the nigga. world star. Under TV. Exclusive. Crack them in the middle of the bitch. Young Buck in the it's building. No Big Hollis. Shout out to Freeway Rick. You yeah. know what the uh -huh. fuck it is, nigga. My music is drugs. Yeah. Coming soon. And you let your motherfucking partner. Yeah. You know, you always gonna have your picks and chooses. Some niggas that like Banks boy, more than Buck. Yeah, yo, more than Buck and all of that. Niggas wasn't able to handle that. And 50 Cent was one of the main niggas that wasn't able to handle that. Because I never got paired compared to the Banks and Yayo. I got compared to the 50, right. which was the boss. Right. You know, right. and I come in with my own boss mentality, meaning that I wanted my own shit. Cashville Records, you understand, was once G-Unit South in the beginning. Yeah. But a nigga feared the fact of a nigga either getting as big as him or bigger than him. Regardless, because... In the beginning, it was a real life situation, at least from what I know from judging it with the Ja Rule situation. A lot of that shit was real. You know, that's the way I viewed it. That's why I rocked around them niggas, and they will tell you, hell yeah, nigga, I'm around this motherfucker with 13, 14 guns on this tour bus. You niggas is playing. I remember this nigga 50 come to me one day and told me, hey, my nigga, you can't ride with all them guns on that bus like that. I'm like, look, nigga, true enough, I got 13, 14 guns, but I got seven, eight niggas on here with, with strap license, and they can hold two of them apiece. Mm. So it ain't like I'm loosely riding. And we at war for real, so everything's been real life with me from the beginning, even coming around them because that's the way I'm raised. I'm, I'm knowing that this shit is real, so that's what's my approach and always been my approach. I had to separate the two, which is cool, and all that's done. So, honestly, man, everything that I done went through and still going through with my situation has made me a better man. It's made me stronger. Like I say, I'm, I'm in churches. So There's things that I wasn't doing when I was amongst them. The only thing I will consider myself in a situation where the day-to-day -day type of living thing, it's a little bit harder, but it's nothing. You understand what I'm saying? True enough, I might not be seeing some of the numbers that I was seeing, but that's only behind me not being able to put a project yeah. out that's yeah. fresher. Yeah. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? So, But I've never stopped eating, period. Hmm. And never will stop eating, understand that, you know? So I'm doing me, my nigga. I fucks with real niggas. Shout I mean, out Freeway Red. Yeah. From the beginning, uh. you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> we take all this shit I just said and put that from the beginning. Shout out to Freeway Ricky Ross, you uh. understand me? And shout out to the Louis Farrakhan up there. I'll be out there in Chicago and all that good stuff. My whole thing is about staying relevant. You know, I'm in a situation where I have an individual that's trying to blackball me from the game. You understand? Yeah. So I give much respect to the producers out there that's allowing me to toss this music out there the way I'm tossing it. Because a lot of it's not paid for. And I'm in a position where it's like, okay, I'm going to stay relevant as much as I can to fight this nigga throughout this paperwork situation. Whether we got to go body by the lawyer situation. That's why I ain't never wanted to go that far with shit. It's been two, three years because, I, like I said in the beginning, our situation wasn't that real where a nigga can't pick up a phone call, have a face-to-face -face conversation. The nigga could have picked up the phone call from the beginning before he said, I got a word for me on Hot 97. Young Buck is no longer part of the group, G-Unit. Uh, nigga, you could have called me on the phone and told me that. So I think he wanted something from his whole thing. Besides, <coughs> it probably was a publicity stunt in mind. It's All real this shit life. Is real life. Uh -huh. It's not no game. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> See, everybody out there watching this shit, uh, it's a lot of London cats. I fuck with them Brixton niggas in London. They street niggas. Them London niggas out there all over. I mean, for niggas that ain't never been overseas and shit, it's gutter out there. It's gutter. It's a lot, whole nother world, but it's a lot of real individuals. Black, white, whatever nationality they may be, mm. it's a lot of real individuals, just like it is over here in America. And I done had the blessings of being able to run over there, you understand, with the G unit back then and all of that good shit, and establish myself through my own platinum records and go over there. So, you know, I'm my own fucking artist, period. It's never been a question about can Buck stand on his own too. You know, I've stood on my own two from the beginning. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? I've never ever uh, needed the 50 Cent to stand behind me. Right. You know, I had this talent before I met a 50 Cent. I come from the gutter from the grind of this music. I come from the independent grind. It used to cost me back then in the days, homie, $300 to press up a thousand CDs. I sell them hold for $10 a piece in front of a sick code that I used to trap out in front of. Mm. I started making more money off of my motherfucking rap CDs hey, than I was off the pack and said, fuck this shit. Mm. I'm finna start my own goddamn music. <laughs> so I come from the gutter of the grind. I ain't no new nigga. I've been blessed to sit around 
real individuals such as the Suge Knights and shit like that as a young nigga and they opened the doors for me to be the young nigga with his mouth closed right there to see a lot of things and been blessed to be around a lot of real gangsters and shit as a, as a young one coming up so I was born with morals. I mm. wouldn't, I didn't come up as you have these rap niggas out here, they ain't got no morals, they just rappers. You understand mm. me? So and I'm not playing about the shit that I'm popping in this music when I'm talking with these niggas. I'm serious because my life is out here on the line. I mean my shit when I'm popping this shit. If I see them niggas, who knows how it's going to go? May the best man win. But they know I'm an active nigga. And a lot of more niggas know that too. You understand me? So I'm not a nigga that's going to get out here and pop this shit. 50 know this. You understand? And I'm not no nigga that's going to be stupid neither. But a nigga gonna have to stay on they shit just as well as I stay on mine fucking with a nigga that mean what the fuck he talking about. Hmm. Cause I'm not playing with them. You understand? They playing with my kids and my life and my well-being behind paperwork. I love this music. I'll do this shit even if it with money involved in this shit. You understand? I'll get mine from the right out there. The gut, nigga. <laughs> the nigga. Straight up. Nigga, I love the music. But I'm gonna get what's mine. And what I work for and what's deserved for mine. You understand? I love it, but nigga, I love the money too. Just like any other nigga. You understand yeah, yeah. me? This is crack cocaine seized a few days ago by drug enforcement agents in a park just across the street from the White House. Let there be no mistake. This stuff is poison. We cracking pillies. We cracking pillies. I got we cracking pillies. We cracking pillies. We cracking pillies. We cracking pillies. I got we cracking pillies. We cracking pillies. We cracking pillies. We cracking pillies. I got we cracking pillies. We cracking pillies. We cracking pillies. We cracking pillies. Them drugs is always with me. Got the back off the digi dimmy X for the icky. I can lace you up like Grammys. I be drugging up my city. Got them fans in the frenzy. I'm dealing for them Benjis. Last night I shot Gimme and I never heard a limit. But I answer every call, call. following protocol call. Different colored grass, uh, blaze up a hundred y'all uh, Tryna get to mall, uh, fuck on the star uh, Life's poker, hard coke was in my car uh, And I had a catalog, uh, cornered the market dog uh, From first to three to peel, sell off the Twitter blog uh, Money from, from the floor, that crack in the attic door uh, What you need that matic for, uh, for jackers that envy uh, yours uh, Taurus Bonnie said, uh, uh, Taurus Buick Chevy uh, uh, Taurus Bonnie Chevy, uh, uh, I'm finna drug uh, along uh, Jeffy uh, And I'm steadily getting chetty, like 2047 yeah. That military, rock, three and one, call it Reggie Ready. Affiliated heavy, we red like ready spaghetti uh, yeah. They young and stay cooking and chooking now Mr. Perry Mac, Mac Dre's, Marley, and soft lies of Manelli yeah. Make them long cherries, throw me apple bottom uh, like I'm Nelly uh, uh, I'm in this bucket car, car. sliding like credit cards car. I'm on the Cali, getting fly in this London fall uh, I'm drugger man, man Forevermore, uh, just watch Scarface, he told me the world is yours yeah. But no remorse, uh, and drug them all, uh, and steam they ass, uh, like an open source uh, They open stores, uh, on they corn uh, uh, and stay with heat, uh, like a Miami uh, point guard uh, And now I got the juice, you got me on thaw, uh, you know my turf is real, uh, and yes I'm so involved uh, Make sure uh, before I leave, leave, all my bundle gone, uh, I'm surprised I'm winning, huh? Should've been on the underdog. We crackin' pillies. We crackin' pillies. I got we crackin' pillies. We crackin' pillies. Come on, towards Bonnie Chevy. Come on, towards Bill Chevy. Come on, towards Bonnie Chevy. Got my drugs, got my fatty. Turf music is drugs. Don't act brand new. And I'm a drug. 2047 for loot. Honey, turf music is drugs. Don't act brand new. And I'm a drug. 